Hi and welcome back folks to another video. As you know AI image generation is just getting out of hands and everyone wants to leverage AI and make their day-to-day -day activities easy. Today we are going to talk about an AI image generation software that is absolutely free that's called Leonardo AI. In this video I'll tell you what Leonardo AI is and how you can master Leonardo AI with the help of ChatGPT in a few seconds. I'll explain in detail everything you need to know about Leonardo AI in this video. The points I'll cover will be What is Leonardo AI? How to use it to generate beautiful AI images and how to use ChatGPT to master Leonardo AI prompts. So now let's not waste any time and jump right into the video. Okay, so first what you need to do is head over to Leonardo.ai. So Leonardo AI is a remarkable tool that harnesses the power of AI to generate breathtaking game assets, including items, environments, helmets, buildings, and concept art. It empowers users to quickly generate ideas, train their own AI models, and produce exceptional assets that are ready for use, all within an interface designed with artists in mind. Users have the opportunity to register for an exclusive early access experience on the platform. So to register in the early access, what you need to do is click on get early access and type your email here and just press count me in. After doing this, what you need to do is click on launch app and here click on I'm waitlisted. Now click on the sign up button and simply sign up. You can also sign up with Google. I have an account so I'll simply log in. After you log into your account, you'll see an interface like this. It will show you a welcome screen and some introduction about the software. You can just press next and read them if you like and then press done. Here on the top now you'll see all the featured models of the platform. There are various models to select from. As you'll scroll down you'll see all the artwork generated by the other people using Leonardo AI. And when you'll click on an image, it will open a window like this, and it will show you the prompt of the image and its details like its resolution, when it was created, its model, and other details. Now on the left side menu you can see the credits you have and all the other options like community feed. Here you'll see all the artwork created by other users. Personal feed here you'll see all the images you've generated. Training and datasets here you can train your own models. And in fine-tuned models, you can see all the community models and the platform models and your own models if you have created any. As you'll go into AI image generation, you'll again see an introduction window. You can read it if you like and press next and then press done. Now you'll see space given here to enter your prompt. 
and on the left side, you'll see this menu that will show you your credits, image quantity, the resolution of the image, image ratio, and some other tools. Now let's generate something. Firstly, you can click here and select any model you like. You can go in to select custom model and see all the models available. I'll just select Leonardo Diffusion. You can also select the style here. I'll just select Leonardo style. You can also turn on negative prompt and tell it what you don't want in your image. I'm going to switch this off for now. I'll now generate a beautiful modern living room. Try to be as detailed as possible with the prompt. When you are done with the prompt, just press generate and wait for it to generate. It will take a few seconds to generate. And here are the results. As you can see, it has generated photorealistic results in just few seconds. Now let me show you how you can write better prompts with no efforts using ChatGPT. So for this you need to go to Chrome Web Store and add this extension called AIPRM for ChatGPT. Wait for it to add. After it's added it will automatically open ChatGPT and it will ask for permission. Simply click on continue. Now it will open another tab and tell you to sign up. I'm going to skip this and come back to ChatGPT. Here now you'll see an interface like this. Now what you're going to do is simply click on search bar and search for AI image. Now select this one called AI image prompt generator by Leo Romeo. Now simply type in what you want to generate. I'll generate a Disney Pixar style Prince character. Now just simply click here and wait for it to do its magic. It will generate five prompts and one negative prompt for you. You can select any one prompt you like. You can read them and select the best one. I'll just select the first one. Now I'll copy it from here and paste it on the Leonardo AI prompt box.
Next, I'll turn on the negative prompt and copy it from ChatGPT and paste it in the negative prompt box. Now press generate and wait for a few seconds. And here are the results. As you can see this image is perfect. The second image is a bit faulty, but the first one is just what I wanted. You can play with it until you get the best result. So this is how you can effortlessly master Leonardo AI prompts with the help of ChatGPT. If you guys are still here, I'm going to tell you a very useful way of generating an image just like another one. This is called image to image generation. For this, you need to scroll down on the left side of the screen and upload your image. I'll upload this image of a wolf vector. You can adjust the prompt guidance scale and initial strength of the image. Now let's say instead of wolf, I want a lion design. I'll just type in the lion logo in the prompt box and press generate. And as you can see now, it gave me beautiful lion logo in the same design. If you want to know more about this, you can watch my other video on logo generation using Leonardo AI. You can also check their plans if you want to generate more than 150 images per day. You'll get 150 credits every day in the free plan for a lifetime, but you can compare other plans if you are willing to pay. So yeah, that's it for today, folks. If you want to know how to earn money using Leonardo AI, make sure to watch my video on starting your print-on-demand business using this. I hope you liked the video and do suggest in the comments what you want in the next video.